Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to determine the ground state term symbols. A term symbol is represented as 2s plus 1 nj, where s is the total spin angular momentum quantum number. It is a maximum value of ms which is obtained by adding the spin quantum numbers. 2s plus 1 is the spin multiplicity. L is the total orbital angular momentum quantum number. It is a maximum value of ml obtained by adding the magnetic quantum numbers. J is the total angular momentum quantum number. The allowed values of J are from the maximum which is L plus S to the minimum L minus S. Now the modulus sign shows that J has non-negative values. Now when we write the term symbol, the values of 2s plus 1 and j are written as non-negative integers. And in case of L, the value is represented by a capital letter. Now L can have values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. For L equal to 0, we write S. For L equal to 1, it is P. For 2, it is D. And then F, G and then in the alphabetical order. To determine the ground state term symbols, we follow the Hans rules. The term with the greatest spin multiplicity will have the lowest energy. So here are three terms, singlet D, triplet P and doublet S. The P term with the highest spin multiplicity will have the lowest energy. Now, if two or more terms have the same spin multiplicity, then the term with the largest value of L will have the lowest energy. So, here are three terms. D, P and S, they have the same spin multiplicity. So, in this case, we have to look at the value of L. For the D term, L is 2. For P, it is 1. And for S, it is 0. So, the D term which has the largest value of L will be lowest in energy. And when the terms have the same spin multiplicity and same L, then the value of J decides the ground state. So here we have to look at the filling of electrons in the subshells. If the subshell is more than half filled, J has the maximum value L plus S. So as in case of the P4 configuration, if the subshell is less than half filled, J will have the minimum value that is L minus S as for the P2 configuration. If the subshell is half filled, L turns out to be 0 and hence J is equal to S. So we will see this in case of P3 configuration. Now the steps for determining the ground state term symbol. First, write down the ground state electronic configuration of the element. Now the inner electrons do not contribute to the angular momentum. So only the valence electrons are considered. In case of carbon with atomic number 6, the electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. So only the valence 2p electrons will be considered. Then calculate the value of L and assign the symbol. The value of S can be calculated from which we can get the value of the spin multiplicity. The J maximum or the J minimum can be obtained. And finally we get the ground state term symbol 2s plus 1 L J. So here we will see how to determine the ground state term symbols for different configurations. We begin with the S block elements with general outer electronic configuration NS1. Now for the S subshell, ML is 0. The electron enters this orbital having ML0. So L is 0 and this is represented by S. 
the single electron has the spin value half. So the spin multiplicity 2s plus 1 will be 2 into half plus 1 which equals to 2. The subshell is half filled. So L is 0 and hence J is equal to S that is half. So the ground state term symbol is represented as 2S half. Now we can have a look at the periodic table. On the extreme left is the group 1 which includes hydrogen and the alkali metals. Now all these elements hydrogen, lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium and francium as they have the same outer electronic configuration ns1 they will have the same ground state term symbol 2s half next is the ns2 configuration the two electrons have ml equal to 0 hence l is 0 and the corresponding symbol is s the two electrons have the spin values plus half and minus half. So the summation of ms is 0. So the spin multiplicity 2s plus 1 is 2 into 0 plus 1 which is 1. The subshell being more than half filled, j is equal to l plus s. And as both l and s are 0, j is equal to 0. So the ground state term symbol is 1s0. In the periodic table, the group 2 elements with ns2 as the outer electronic configuration will have 1s0 as the ground state term symbol. Now the results from the previous slides have been tabulated here. So we see that the elements with ns1 configuration will have the ground state term symbol 2s half and elements with ns2 configuration will have the term symbol as 1s0. Next we move to the p block. Now from the p, d and f blocks I will discuss two configurations from each. One where the subshell is less than half filled and the other where the subshell is more than half filled. Now in case of the uh, P subshell, the ML values are plus 1, 0 and minus 1. Now the electron is filled in the subshell such that uh, the orbital has the maximum value of ML. So in case of NP1 configuration, the single electron will enter the orbital with ML plus 1. So L is 1 and the symbol is P. The electron has a spin half, so the spin multiplicity is 2 into half plus 1 that equals to 2. The subshell being less than half pill, j is equal to l minus s which is 1 minus half which equals to half. So the ground state term symbol is 2p half. Now the boron group elements with NP1 configuration will have 2P half as their ground state term symbol. Then we look at the NP4 configuration. So this configuration is for the elements from the oxygen group. The summation of ML. So there are two electrons in the orbital with ML plus one. One electron with ML0 and one electron with ML-1. So summation of ML is 1 and hence the symbol is P. Now out of the four electrons, three electrons have the spin plus half and one electron has the spin minus half. So the summation of MS is 3 into half minus half which is 1. The spin multiplicity 2s plus 1 is 2 into 1 plus 1 which equals to 3. The subshell is more than half filled 
So J is equal to L plus S. And as both L and S are 1, J is equal to 2. So the ground state term symbol is 3P2. So the oxygen group elements will have 3P2 as the ground state term symbol. Now the remaining four configurations NP2, NP3, NP5 and NP6 you can try uh, for these four configurations and then you can check your answers here because the table here shows the ground state term symbols for the NP1 to NP6 configuration. The filling of the electrons has been shown. Then the value of L, S, the spin multiplicity 2S plus 1, the value of J and finally it is the ground state term symbol. You can have a look at these term symbols and then you will find that the NP1 and NP5 configuration the term symbol is the same, it is the doublet P. The value of J is different as in one case the subshell is less than half filled and for the other configuration NP5, the subshell is more than half filled. Then NP2 and NP4, again it is the triplet P. And for half filled and completely filled subshell, it is the S term. Now we move on to the D block. For the D subshell, the ML values are from plus 2 to minus 2. So in, in case of the D3 configuration, the three electrons are filled in the orbitals which have uh, larger values of ML. So summation of ML is plus 2 plus 1 plus 0 which is 3 and is represented by F. The three electrons have the spin plus half. So the summation of MS is 3 by 2 and the spin multiplicity is 2 into 3 by 2 plus 1 which is 4. J is equal to L minus S as the subshell is less than half filled. L is 3 and S is 3 by 2. So the difference is 3 by 2. So the ground state term symbol is 4F 3 by 2. In case of D7 uh, configuration, now L is obtained by adding the values of ML. So there are two electrons in the orbital uh, having ML plus 2. Two electrons with ML plus one each and three electrons with ML zero minus one and minus two. So the summation of ML is three which is represented by F. From the seven electrons five have the spin plus half and two have minus half. So summation of MS is five into half plus two into minus half which is 3 by 2. Hence, the spin multiplicity is 2 into 3 by 2 plus 1, which is 4. J is equal to L plus S, since the subshell is more than half filled. So in case of D7, it is 3 plus 3 by 2, which is 9 by 2. So the ground state term symbol is 4F 9 by 2. Now the ground state term symbol for ND1 to ND10 configurations are shown in the table. So once you obtain the term symbol for um, all the configurations from ND1 to ND10, uh, you can look at these ground state term symbols. And again you find that ND1, ND9, D2, D8, D3, D7, D4, D6 and D5 and D10 have a similarity in the term symbols. 
So here we are uh, at the fourth block from the periodic table. Now in case of the uh, F subshell, the ML values are from plus 3 to minus 3. So in case of the NF4 configuration, L will be 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 0, which is 6 and is represented by I. All the four electrons with the spin half. So the summation of ms is 2 and the spin multiplicity 2s plus 1 will be 5. Subshell is less than half filled. So j is equal to l minus s. l is 6 and s is 2. So the difference is 4. So j is equal to 4 and the term symbol will be 5i4. Then the NF12 configuration where the subshell is more than half filled. L, which is the summation of ML, can be obtained by adding the values of ML for the 12 electrons and it results in 5 which is represented by H. Five electrons have the spin minus half and seven electrons have the spin plus half. So the summation of MS is one. And the spin multiplicity, 2S plus one is three. As the subshell is more than half filled, J is equal to L plus S, which is five plus one, which equals to six. So the ground state term symbol is 3H6. Again here we have a table which depicts the ground state term symbol for the elements with configuration NF1 to NF14. Look at the filling of electrons and the final term symbol which is obtained. So we have NF1 and NF13, then NF2 and 12, 3 and 11, 4 and 10, 5 and 9, 6 and 8. And then the half filled and completely filled orbitals which have the S term as the ground state. Now, in case you are asked to determine the ground state term symbol for some metal atom or ion and you are given the complex. So, in this case, uh, if we have the aqua complex of nickel. So, first find out what is the oxidation state of the central metal. So, here it is nickel with the plus 2 oxidation state. So, the configuration will be D8. And when we follow the same method, we can get the term symbol as 3F4. The next two complexes are where the central metal is cobalt but with different oxidation states and accordingly the configuration will change from D7 to D6 and hence the term symbol will be 4F9 by 2 and 5D4. The last example is of samarium which belongs to the F block and samarium with plus 3 oxidation state is F5 system. So the term symbol will be 6H5 by 2. Now determine the ground state term symbols for the following. So these are five examples. Solve them and write your answer in the comment section. So keep practicing as we all know that practice makes us perfect. Thank you for watching the video. For any queries, feel free to contact me at mnchy at the rate gmail.com. Thank you.